So if you want to build apps with AI, you must have heard about Google's new Gemini models, especially the 2.5 Pro is everywhere. You can see headlines saying that it's better at coding, math and science than your favorite AI models. And some people say that it's the world's best AI for coding. But you know me, so for the last 24 hours, I ran countless tests comparing Gemini 2.5 Pro against Claude Sonnet 3.7. So I wrote a really comprehensive prompt asking the AI eyes to build a dystopian future super depressing all-knowing AI website with some heavy gotchas like building a very specific calculator to buy information credits which the AI would require you to comply with. <laughs> yeah it's a little bit out there but if you want to get the prompt I'll link it in the description down below. So now let's get started with the first comparison. So on the left side I use visual code with Klein and Gemini 2.5 Pro and on the right you can see Cursor with Sonnet 3.7. And the first thing that I immediately noticed is that Gemini is fast, way faster when it works. So on the left side you will see very often you will see red errors and that's because Gemini right now the AIs are just overwhelmed. Everyone is trying to play with them, everyone is like trying to experiment including you know yours truly, but that means that the requests that your AI coders make very frequently will fail. So after a few minutes, you will shortly see, this is heavily sped up, like 24X, I think. You will see that these will eventually come to an end, but none of them was perfect, neither Gemini nor Sonnet. Both of them required a lot of follow-up prompts to fix problems. This was the first attempt of Gemini, completely broken. This was after about half an hour of trial and error. So. Gemini just runs in circles. It will just, despite its huge context window, which everyone is hyping up, it cannot remember that a solution that didn't work two minutes ago will not work now. It will just run in circles. And that was extremely frustrating. I don't know why it would do that. Other AI models, including Sonnet, do that sometimes, but Gemini did this in every single try. Meanwhile, this is what Sonnet came up with. What? Look at this. And this was just one of many attempts. Sonnet did well almost every single time. So there are a lot of little things in the prompt that I gave it, like the colors, I wanted some glitch effects, micro animations, I wanted a really depressing vibe of like a mega AI that controls us all, right? Especially this animation here with the citizen testimonials i liked it it's really like it's coming together right and it's coming let me go back here for a second it's it has some like really interesting interesting ideas for example that you know there's like a registered citizen number and every citizen has like a compliance rating right it made all of these things up and then we go to the calculator which didn't work at all on the gemini on the gemini one of course but here you see it actually did and you see it it has a nice gradient on the currency buttons, the slider works, it does exactly what it is. It, it shows your daily searches, monthly searches, base price per credit, price per credit, discount. There's an animation, well done Sonnet, very well done. It works well, it did exactly what I asked it to. Not a one shot, it did take a couple of tries to actually get it done, but it did it. Now we have a second example, but before we jump into this one, there is something that you really have to understand. And I wish that other YouTubers would tell you the same thing, but they don't. So here I am telling you what's up. Every time you see a video comparing models, it's, it makes no sense. Because when you run the test 10 times, different models will win. You need a huge sample size of tests to actually decide if one model is better than another, right? So in this test, I ran the same very similar prompt about five or six times with a lot of like trial and error, but that still doesn't mean that Gemini will have the same result or Sonnet will have the same result all the time. Nevertheless, there are some things that in this example happened that only happened to Gemini. So let's give it a shot. So very, very early on, immediately you will see something and that was a huge struggle. So now Gemini will run a request for a shell command that runs on your computer. You don't really need to understand what that means. But you see here 
that it does something to it. So the command should look like this. There should be like an like an end end sign. But what at least incline, like what Gemini does incline is it tries to convert this into what it thinks is code instead of a command. This means that the command will fail. And so it will just run in circles trying to run commands on your computer, but it doesn't work and it doesn't understand why. You see here now I actually asked it, never escape the end in commands, they're shell commands, they don't work. And then it tries to do the exact same thing again. But once again, you saw that Gemini is significantly faster. Like it does what it's, what it's supposed to do and it's already like bug fixing itself or tries to anyway, while Claude Sonnet 3.7 is still writing the initial code. That doesn't mean that Gemini is better, but it means that it is much, much faster. Here now I'm trying to fix the page that Gemini is trying to build while I'm already adding new features with Sonnet, which is wild, right? So the page doesn't still work on Gemini's side and I'll show you what they look like in a second while I'm already adding completely new functionality with Claude. Now let's look at the results. I think this again took like 30 or 40 minutes or something like this. And what you're seeing here is Gemini's approach. Not bad, right? This is not bad. It's not super depressing and it's not like super cyberpunk or something like that, but it's not bad. The images are kind of broken, but now let's look at the actual uh, calculator. So this one, it works. It does exactly what it's supposed to do, right? It did miss a couple of like things that I asked it to do in the prompt, but generally it added the animation, it works. There are some nice animations when you hover over things, though Claude did in the last example significantly better. The images are broken, but Sonnet would do exactly the same thing. Generally, not bad. Now this is what Sonnet came up with. Again, in my opinion, it is a better quote unquote design, right? It is just more thought through. There's like little dots in the back and it just looks nicer, but it's not perfect. You see here, the button is too close on things. There's no spacing between these sections here, which there should definitely be some spacing in between. The buttons turn black, which is kind of weird. There's no hover effect here. It's just spacing is generally broken, but then the calculator is absolute fire. Look at it. It looks really nice. You can like select your currency. You can select your, your package. You see the base package, you see the final price per credit, the discount you're getting, your total monthly cost. You see the citizen testimonials, which again, I don't think this is exactly what Claude had in mind, but this is quite striking, right? It is, uh, oh wow, non-compliance window. I didn't even see that the first time I checked it. There's a non-compliance window that like closes. Look at this part here. <laughs> That's like a timer. You better comply and it's actually running down. I didn't ask it to do that, you know? but. Really good. I would say again, this Claude again just crushed it. So I ran this test five times just to get a bit better sample size to understand if Gemini and Sonnet really have any difference. And out of these five times, Sonnet crushed it four out of five times. To me, this is saying a little bit. It's not, you know, conclusive, but it's it gives you a good idea, you know. But while I was preparing this video, Cursor added Gemini to its subscription. So I wanted to run the test one more time just in cursor so that you have a completely level playing field. So let's look how that goes for Gemini. Right, straight away, immediately after I sent the prompt, it started generating and then nothing happened. So this happens with a lot of models, not with Sonnet, but with a lot of models it happens, especially in cursor, but also in Windsurf, that you get a response, but no action is taking. And that happened a few times with Gemini. So that wasn't great. Then I just told it, you got stuck. And it said, oh yeah, you're absolutely right. My apologies. I described the first step, but didn't initiate the action. Yeah, great. <laughs> All right, so here again, this is 24X, right? So it will, it will take a while. It t always takes like this prompt, which again, you can download in the description down below. Takes about, Gemini takes about four to five minutes, I think, while Claude might take like six, seven minutes, maybe eight. But yeah, you see it's coding away just like that, and now it ran into issues. So what you don't see here is that I see the preview of the websites and its errors on another screen. And I just continued to feed the errors to it and it would just, it would just run in circles. And then it would do something and say, okay, now it's working. 
Sonnet does that too. This is classic LLMs, right? But then it would try something and be like, oh wow, this arrow is very persistent. So it took about five minutes of getting this website up and running with a lot of like trial and errors and just running in circles, five, six minutes maybe. And eventually Gemini managed to do it and this is the result. So if you ask me, this is not bad. It's not as good as the results that Sonnet would give you, but it is not bad. If the results would always be like this, it would be almost worth your time. I say almost because right now no one knows the cost of Gemini 2.5 Pro. It is expected to be around the same price as Sonnet. And if Sonnet gives you consistent results more often, like more consistently higher results, then why would you pay the same price to work with Gemini, right? You see the calculator, for example, it didn't do perfect because I asked it to run in increments of 50. It actually, now you can see, it actually says credits purchased in blocks of 50, but I was able to select 261. So it remembered that I asked it to do it, but it wouldn't actually implement the logic. The 1 million context window is just not that important as people think. Final thoughts, right now I think Gemini has potential and maybe future fine tunings of it will be better. If you're anything like me and you wanna like just build and don't think about it too much, then Sonnet 3.5 and 3.7 are still the best models to go. So what do you think about all of this? Do you think Gemini is worth a try or after this video, you're gonna stick to Sonnet yourself? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you next time. Peace.